Tune in for you. How are you doing? Welcome back. I hope you're well and I hope you're having a great day. So, some really exciting news. I got a letter through the post the other day. It's from HM Revenue and Customs and it says you have paid too much tax. HMRC owes you £1,514. Woohoo! So, I've done what any sensible adult would do at the time of a financial crisis and I've carefully invested it in mini parts. There we go. So what do you reckon? Does that look like £1,500 worth? It took me at least half an hour to get this stuff out of the packaging, so I wasn't going to do a traditional unboxing. I will talk you through briefly what we've got. I think we'll start from the front. So we have four new tyres. You know I've already got the Mist Round Mod wheels. I'm going to send them away. They're actually up in the corner there. They're going to get sent away soon for um refurbishment so i've got four 165 6012 tires uh they are nankang tires don't seem to be able to get hold of falcons at the moment and yokohamas are about 25 30 quid per tire more expensive at the moment so the racing green is not going to be a car that we use on track that sort of thing it's just uh yeah so nankang tires we have got a full front end so wings front panel a panels, door skins, seam strips, that is all genuine heritage panels. Um, I have got a pair of headlamp bulbs, I've got a starter motor, throttle cable, choke cable. I have got four new suspension donuts. I have a pair of outer seals. They're not genuine, but it doesn't make a great deal of difference on outer seals like that. They're not Magnum. Um, I'm not sure where Mini Spare source them from, but they're fine. I've used them before. Windscreen filleting strip. We have a new rear subframe. It's not a genuine subframe, that it is a Mini Spare subframe. And if you watch the Project Bruce build, I did have problems with the Mini Spare subframe. So hopefully, better luck this time, or certainly I know what to look out for and I can be careful, and we'll get into that later. I have 16 new wheel nuts because they are a dome type on the Mist Round Mod wheels. We've got various gaskets, sets of swivels, boot seal, and I think that's it for the moment. So what do you reckon? Was that a sensible investment during this financial crisis? <laughs> In my eyes, yes, because all of this stuff is going to go up in price, isn't it? Inflation's through the roof at the moment, and yeah, everything just seems to be going up really, really quickly. So while I've got the money, while the tax man has been very, very kind to me, although that does mean he well overcharged me at the start of the year, which I kind of knew about anyway, um, so I have paid for it. Yeah, there's a lot there. There's a lot more to come. This is only the start of it. I've got some really exciting things that are going to happen to the racing green. And I will talk about it in more detail. But hopefully you can see how committed I am to this car. These are the bits which I can see on the surface that definitely need doing. The front end, to be honest, will be the best front end I've ever replaced. Because the front end on the car is not... You could live with it, but you know what I'm like with my OCD. It has got some rust bubbles in it. It it is, it's not perfect. I want it perfect. Um, door skins, etc., etc. Uh, I have already got a box of some bits which I've already previously bought, and I've got various other bits and bobs around. So 
quick video this week i hope you enjoyed it remember to give it a thumbs up get subscribed if you're not subscribed because this is gonna be a mega mega build